They said, I'll be back by November. <laughs> and thank God I won't be back after this next election. <laughs> I met that dude. Now, quick story, like sidebar. Um, I performed at this thing Trisha Yearwood sang for the um, lighting of the Christmas tree in Sacramento. Like the city that, what they say, Sacramento has the most trees per capita than any other city in America. I doubt that, but people say that a lot. Uh, so anyway, in the city of trees, Sacramento, California, people are always high and doing stupid stuff. Uh, <laughs> get it, trees, anyway. Uh, so I'm singing, singing country music, right? With Trisha Yearwood, it was great. I was staring at it the whole time, like, cute, awesome. And, um, after we get done with this whole this whole performance, you know, the governor, he gets up and I didn't realize how massive this dude is, like width wise, he's pretty freaking huge. But also when I got up close to him, when he came up close to us anyway with the security guards around him, um, he was shaking everybody's hand and like I, that's the first time I really shook a politician's hand and wanted to punch him in his face because of how because of how slimy he looked. You know, remember he was saying, oh yeah, I'm down to change California, I'm down to do this, I'm down to do that. Since he's been in office, nothing has been done about the school system in Sacramento. A lot more schools have closed than, than have improved with, as far as test scores are concerned, since we're all about test scores now. That dude had on so much makeup, that was the only thing that saved me from going to jail in that. Was, you, you can't hit a man with makeup on. <laughs> I'm serious, like, what would Move 50 Cent look like getting to a fight with Little Richard? <laughs> Both of them were the same shape at Pancake 23. Anyway, yeah. Go ahead. Um, in thinking about this event, I have some, some pieces that I've, that I've written um, that deal with the environment, but one of my students at um, Sacramento High School, my teacher to talk like this, uh, one of my students at Sac High uh, brought up the idea that, you know, when I, I tell my kids about my performances in my theater class, and, one of my students brought up the idea that, you know, I should start listening to uh, some of the ideas that younger, that the younger generation has about the environment and things that we can do to, to improve, in, improve it. Because basically when I'm gone, it's going to be there. So you might as well listen to people with good ideas. Sometimes children have simple ideas that if followed would make things so much easier. So much easier, you know, because we have SAT words in college. Y'all know, took the test. All right, so uh, this, um, this piece I found is by a young lady named Tara in, uh, in Bethel, Connecticut. So I'll do this one, I'll do one more, and then 